Hello guys and welcome in part 4 of the Battle Royale and today we are going to start the land invasion on the Asian coalition. In the last episode we started the war uh, Africa versus Asia and we started with a naval battle and of course we have a small um, superiority on them because I have a very good navy and Ethiopia have a full army of uh, submarines, the wolf pack. And now I'm going to initiate the land invasion with a lot of full stacks composed of multiple rocket launchers, uh, anti air, SAMs, uh, mobile anti airs, of course, infantries. And I am going to launch a very, very big land invasion on uh, Asia, of course. This is in front of me the lands of Kazakhstan. I didn't uh, declare war on him yet, but it's only a matter of seconds until my troops past the borders and uh, war is going to be declared you see my composition of the army one uh, radar one mobile anti-air one sam and seven multiple rocket launchers they are deadly from distance so here uh, the japanese uh, naval officer has appeared and he is tough he is max level there with the cruisers these are my mosquitoes the naval recon aircrafts they are in standby and i am detecting a naval radar so close to my to my land armies of course i'm going to prevent him from attacking my land armies and i'm going to initiate the cruise missiles assault with a lot of cruise missiles and i am going to wipe out this blue dot in just a matter of seconds this is the strength of the naval recon aircrafts guys um, just a small hint and uh, of course an advice for you if you are willing to use the naval recon aircrafts in your gameplay please equip it with uh, cruise missiles with conventional cruise missiles because it's going to make it deadly and very strong so here the Japanese uh, naval officer has been surrounded by uh, the Ethiopian uh, attack submarines and my cruisers and destroyers there I have locked him up and he can't get away uh, from me uh, I'm going to kill him soon so my radar here is detecting something in Isfahan um, what is it there maybe some land forces of course it's land force because it's a land radar uh, maybe I will think about launching a ballistic missile there in Isfahan it makes things easier a nuclear one because I have 15 nuclear warheads I, I, I used a lot of conventional warheads uh, with cruise missiles and I only now have 110 I started this war with 250 uh, conventional cruise missile a respectable number yeah it's not bad at all it's very good So I'm advancing slowly now to the main cities there in the region of Iran. These are Kazakhstanian uh, concrete cities. I'm going to take them from them. Of course, this is the only place I'm going. I can start uh, a land invasion because it's the common borders between us. I can't send my land armies um, from the sea. That's very bad. And now I just decided to launch a ballistic missile, a nuclear one. It's going to wipe out Isfahan from existence. It's good. It's not bad. It's have a very big damage of 260 against infantry and armored vehicles. Look here. The Asians are surrounding us. This is so bad. This is so bad. I need reinforcements. I still have my stacks, my naval stacks intact because I really attacked uh, uh, carefully of course I attack and go back and avoid the counter-attack but this is not enough three stacks of cruisers is not enough I need and I already lost a stack of cruisers in the Arabian Sea uh, the notification tell me that New Zealand killed one of my cruisers stacks in the um, one second it's Alborn Sea Alborn Sea it's here near the Gibraltar Strait Maybe that's a blue dot. Okay, I'm going to send my Navy Recon aircrafts to inspect for me. I really don't know where is exactly this position and we will see what will happen. I hope I really find this uh, stack. I told you that they are going to come from behind. Uh, it, they are not going to only stay in the Arabian Sea and uh, the Strait of uh, Ethiopia there. Uh, of course, they are going to aim to come from the Gibraltar Strait. That's why I sent a stack of cruisers there and I lost it. I didn't see, of course, 
Um, so, no problem, I'm going to inspect it with my Naval Recon aircrafts and I will see what they have there. And of course, my cruise missiles will do the rest. This is another stack of uh, land army. I'm going to enter it from Muscat. When I clear all the sea there, I'm going to send it from Muscat to all the way to uh, the lands of Pakistan. I'm going for the recruiting offices level 2 to boost up the production and reduce the time. So I have more and more naval recon aircrafts uh, ready in no time because I lost a lot of them. Uh, Japan had a lot of frigates, they really annoyed me. Yes, my naval recon aircrafts has inflicted a lot of damage to their navies. Uh, and I destroyed a lot, a lot of stacks of naval units there. But yeah, I lost some casualties. I received some casualties, of course, because they have the frigates and cruisers. And they have the anti-air, so it's normal that they will defend uh, themselves. You see here Isfahan is uh, a yellow school from my ballistic nuclear missile and uh, anything there is dead because my radar is detecting nothing so yeah that's good but now it's still Tehran and this is Belarus so as I said earlier we allied Africa and Europe on Asia uh, we agreed that we wipe out Asia so soon from the game and later it's one versus one in the final a battle against um, Europe. It's going to be huge, it's going to be good, but first let's survive the war against Asia because they are very strong. I really, I really didn't know that uh, Asia is going to have such a huge navy and I'm entering this naval battle, only me and Ethiopia. Ethiopia with um, attack submarines and I am with the naval uh, surface vessels and of course the naval recon aircrafts. The Europeans didn't participate in the naval battle, they only participated in the land battle. Um, so it's going to be only on my shoulders here, this battle, this naval battle. And you see, uh, you can clearly see that New Zealand, Australia and Japan, they have a lot of naval units. They are fortified and of course they are going to pose a lot of problems for me. Uh, this uh, stack has already did the contact, I attacked the Japanese stack and I'm going to go back to, of course, avoid the counterattack as usual. In the naval battles, never stay static, you have always to move around, you attack and go back, of course, to avoid the counterattack, uh, there is always that seconds of delay time that you need to use it to get back and avoid the counterattack. In that, in this strategy, if you fall it, you will always attack, inflict the damage, destroy your enemy without losing one hit point from your stack. This is a very efficient strategy, it's a very efficient maneuver and you need to follow it for upcoming wars and upcoming battles, it's going to help you a lot. So here there is a sonar contact, so these are some attack summaries. I'm going to see it, I'm going to send some naval recon aircrafts to see what is there. Of course it's attack submarines, but I don't know they belong to who, and also I don't know um, how much hit points they have. And as you saw, I'm sending my naval officer also to the front, to the Atlantic Ocean there, because I really uh, feeling overwhelmed by the Asian Navy and of course the Japanese Imperial uh, Navy and I need my naval officer, my Admiral uh, Meliodas to join this battle. Of course I'm going to rearrange my, uh, my naval army and I'm going to push forward again. You see those blue dots, they are coming for me. These are the Asians, they are coming from all the sides and from all the regions and of course I need to follow a very well-organized strategy and a well-organized uh, approach to be able to destroy all of their uh, naval units. Here, everything is max level and everything has a range of 100. So it really doesn't make a difference that I have max level cruisers or they have max level cruisers because it's the same. What really makes a difference here in this battle is how experienced you are and how well you know your armies and how well you know your ships. This is what is going to make a difference. That is why I told you to be always agile and very fast in movement. And you also have to advance and go back quickly to avoid the counterattack. Here I am spreading like a disease in the Asian uh, lands. 
with a lot of stacks with a huge land army a very good land army composed of a lot of multiple rocket launchers and of course um, defended from air assaults with anti-air and SAMs also I have the radars to reveal everything for me because you know that the multiple rocket launchers they don't have a radar uh, they don't reveal anything in front of you so you need always to move your multiple rocket launchers with radars uh, so you can make things easier for your stack to uh, be able to detect your enemies and assault them and attack them automatically. My herd of bees here, my herd of mosquitoes is so close to the sonar radar and we will see what we have there. Here I am assembling my navy in my point. I need to reorganize them and of course I received some damage of course. So it's an attack submarine and uh, a submarine officer it's of New Zealand. So I don't have to lose the attack of five stacks of uh, naval recon aircraft. So I'm going to send only two stacks to destroy the naval uh, the submarine officer of New Zealand and send the rest, the, the other three uh, stacks of the naval recon aircrafts to other tasks, to other missions because I still have, you see there, that they have another naval radar, so I need to inspect it and see what we have there. I hope that it's not frigates because you know frigates is going to be a problem for my naval recon aircraft. Um, I can only destroy frigates with destroyers or cruisers of course because they are strong against uh, surface vessels but not with naval recon aircrafts because I'm going to receive a lot of damage but the good thing about the naval recon aircrafts is that they have a very wide naval radar I love it because it reveals uh, submarines it reveals everything so yeah it helps a lot it helps a lot and I like it so much This is my beautiful naval officer with attack offensive of 134 and hit points of 395. Such amazing numbers. Here I have something close to my city of Muscat. My city of Muscat is annexed, it's a component city and I produce naval recon aircrafts in it with uh, an air base level 3 but Japan attacked it and he really destroyed my air base of level 3 and it made me so so sad here my multiple rocket launches they are attacking Tehran uh, Tehran is uh, heavy is heavy with uh, some land armies there so let's have a look here at the casualties Meliodas is pro thank you <laughs> so what do we have here Belarus versus Japan uh, we have New Zealand has made a big mistake I don't know what they are talking about I'm going to decontaminate Isfahan now because it is mine it's good component city I'm going to need a lot of components uh, production because I need to rebuild my fleet of uh, of course my uh, army of the air and the naval recon aircrafts I said I lost a lot so I need to rebuild for the final battle so this war actually is not going to take a lot if their navy is down if their navy is dead so 100% that this war is finished because you know New Zealand is an island Australia is an island Japan is an island if they lose their navies so that means that they lose their homeland nations and checkmate so here there is a naval re radar and my my multiple rocket launches they are attacking the naval radar this is why I love multiple rocket launchers because they attack almost everything. Only they can't attack the submarines. Of course, multiple rocket launchers, they don't have a damage against submarines. Yes, they attack surface vessels such as frigates, destroyers, or cruisers. Also, uh, the aircraft carriers. This is New Zealand. He destroyed our airfield in Diego Garcia. Smart move. He is going for our infrastructure. So you see here that all of our air force is still in standby here. Japan is, oh, he's taking my west coast. This is bad. All of this region is mine and he's really roaming with inventories there. He knows that I don't have defenses in uh, North of America because I have some colonies there, but they send him two stacks of strikers. 
See here that our armies is still in standby. I didn't even send half of my navy for the Asians. Everything is still stocked for the Europeans later. So seriously, after this, after this war, we are going to see one of the greatest wars ever created in conflict of nations world war three you are going to see me with an army of 500 units everything is max level you are going to see more than 100 multiple rocket launches you are going to see then uh, more than uh, 80 or 90 max level cruisers you are going to see one of the greatest ever armies ever built in this game so don't forget to subscribe in our youtube channel to see all of our episodes all of our series and of course you have to wait and watch this full series of the battle royale so you can see really what is it huge wars what is it experienced players fighting each other clashing the clash of the titans of course of the game uh, it's going to be so much fun so don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel like this video and of course turn on the bell so you can receive all of our newest projects and newest videos so here i already reached the lands of pakistan and soon i'm going to be in the lands of india and all of these regions are for kazakhstan i guess or i think it's japan but it doesn't make sense to me because they are all in the same coalition so my army it doesn't know anything only to advance forward and take as much as cities as possible because here the um, i have to think about my resources production i have to think about my economy because uh, after this war um, we are going to take a lot of time to recover to of course to recover to rebuild our armies for the final battle uh, the final battle is going to be huge so the most important thing now is to think about my the cities that I am going to take, the cities that I am going to annex. Uh, I have to minimize my casualties and I have to minimize the number of uh, troops I'm going to lose because later the series work is going to begin. See here, in uh, currently that I am in the battle against the Asians, I am building the defense theater systems to be able to, of course, have uh, a cover against missiles. We saw that the Europeans has burned uh, Japan into ashes. They have ICBMs and they have long-range ballistic missiles. So this is, is going to make me later in the war against the Europeans. They are going to launch a lot of missiles. So from this moment, I'm going to start making my anti-missile systems and of course start rebuilding my defenses. Here, my navy is advancing. I really had the breakthrough here and I'm going to advance slowly firstly I'm going for Australia I need to destroy all of the cities of Australia his coastal cities and his naval bases to prevent him from making more and more ships if his coastal cities are destroyed I'm going to close up on him with a naval blockade my usual strategy my I love the strategy of the naval blockade and especially against islands islands such as Japan, Australia, New Zealand, United Kingdom. It's very good to lock them up. One, in, one, in one of my experiences, in one of my videos, I really did a naval blockade on a continent. Yes, it was Europe. I remember I was playing with Cuba and I really performed uh, a naval blockade on all of Europe, from the north of Norway to the south near to the Black Sea. I really locked up everything. It really was a very nice battle alone against uh, all of the European coalition and with a huge navy composed of destroyers and cruisers I really locked the full continent of Europe and I kept them inside. They couldn't even get out of their land. So here my navy is still advancing slowly. I'm going now to take down that stack attacking the island of Diego Garcia. It is revealed to me, I can see it, so it's going to be easy to take it down. Looks like New Zealand sent his naval stack to destroy that island and he forgot that it is still engaging. So that is going to be an easy target for me and I'm going to kill it in no time. This is my 20 max level naval recon aircrafts. They are healed with my level 2 um, local hospital. And I'm going for the level 3 local hospital. 
So here we are in the last moments of our video. I need to stop it here. We already reached our 20 minutes or the usual 20 minutes of every video. So see you in the part five in the next part where the serious work begins. See you guys. Bye bye.